Hello, welcome to my first video. I'm Madame Whippy um, and this is the Team Extreme server. So I thought I'd show you around a bit. Uh, the first place I want to show you is the spawn area, which is where you'll spawn for the first time when you joined our server. So this shows you all the rules on how to play on the server. Um, and so a list of the commands you can use, so how to make factions and things. Um, it also has the TeamSpeak server address and the forums address and a list of their staff. So if you ever have any problems in game, you can contact any of these people. So I'll take you around and show you a little outside. So that building there is a redstone schematics building. So if you ever want to learn anything about redstone, that's where you can find some out. We have a jump arena for everybody to use, as you can see there's people in there. Um, which is free for everybody to use. Uh, that's where you can get some food from. Um, there's animals that spawn in there. We do have spleef and PvP arenas, but we're currently the plugins are out at the moment, so they're closed. Um, we also have some admin shops, so you can buy and sell things in there and get money to buy and sell things off other players. This is a statue of the owner of the server, which is Raid Max. Um, which as you can see down there he has a nether portal between his legs. We have nether enabled and you can also PvP in the nether. So as I mentioned you can buy and sell things for the players. Um, so I'll take you out and show you some shops. Uh, this is at the south exit. So first of all we come to Utopia shops which is the faction I'm in run by a Simon24 player. Um, and then we have all sorts of different shops down here. Each, everybody's shop sells things at different prices. People sell different items. Um, so if you wander, you'll find everything's different. So you can barter basically with other players. Okay, so I will go now and show you some faction. So first of all, I'm going to show you the Utopia faction. Um, so it's set out in four different sections, the north, south, east and west. And this is our F home building. The server was actually reset a couple of weeks ago. So not a lot of people have got their buildings finished yet, but everybody's busy building and everything seems to be coming along quite well. So people like to build different things, I mean this is uh, Two Faces building and he's made a hollow sphere. So he lives in a sphere. And everybody has different tastes, so we like to see a wide range of different things. Um, yeah, that. So I'll take you to the other end, which is the south road, and I'll show you. This is my house, which is still under construction. Um, it's got a 3x3 three three piston door which is opened by the tripwire. There's not much in here at the moment, but it'll get there. Oh, there, there goes the door. So I'll go and show you upstairs. So you can do all sorts with your building. You can make houses, bedrooms, dungeon type places. Um, but yeah, you can also build big pixel arts, so that's my current pixel art under construction. 
As you can see, I like to start projects, but getting around to finishing is another matter. So, I'll just show you a couple of other different people's houses. Some people just build farms in their houses. Um, we also have an enormous farm on top of the Utopia complex. And as well as having your 30 by 35 plots, we have four large free build areas. Oh, this, this is a big wood maze. That's supposed to be quite fun. We have free build areas, so if you want to build something for the faction, you can use the free build area. So somebody here has bought, built cobblestone generators. Uh, this is a spleef arena. So that's built for everybody to spleef. Um, I'll go around and show you a couple of the other free build creations as well as a couple of houses on the way past. Uh, this is the other free build area. This I think is another cobblestone generator. This one here is an obsidian generator. So what you do here is Put redstone down on the bedrock and jump out and press the button. That then will release the lava from the dispensers and create obsidian. So you mine the obsidian and just drop some down again and press the button. It's fairly simple. Um, Obviously we have a nether portal um, and we have all the rules and faction mods and things around FM. So if you ever need anything you can just ask one of those people. This is another one of our free build areas. As you can see there's still a lot of space for people to build. This is our automatic tree generator. So what you basically do uh, just clear this out of the way. For some reason it got stuck again. Okay, that should be good to use. Um, so here you get your oak saplings, plant your sapling, and click the bone meal till it grows and that will then push the wood through and you just keep repeating that process till you think you've planted enough for the amount you need. That also then will crush the leaves and drop saplings for you so you pick your saplings up around here. As you can see there's some dropped. Um, and then to get your wood just walk around the back and it comes out of the back here as you can see and you just mine it out so that's free for all of our faction members to use we also have um, an automatic cocoa bean farm on one of the free builds um, and we also have some spawners underground that people have dug out and built grinders and things so you can get the XP and any materials that the spawners drop. So these are some more of the buildings. I'll just quickly fly around and show you. As you can see we have a wide range of build types from different faction members. Um, so Simon 24 player is the lead command um, and second and third is me and Samus so if you ever need anything in game you can contact one of us um, as I say it's a no grief server so if anything gets griefed again you can ask one of the mods admins or assistants and they roll the 
this stuff back for you. Um, and the players who grief will get banned. This is an automatic melon farm um, and a pumpkin farm. So it automatically cho chops them down and drops them out for you. So you can have something food wise. Uh, this is our cocoa bean farm. So what you do with this is you just wander up, push the button, the pistons will move it um, and drop all the cocoa beans and push the wood back down. And then all you have to do is pick up your cocoa beans which have just popped in and plant the amount that was on their back and you'll be left with some cocoa beans which you can make cookies or sell whatever you like to do with them So that's that. Um, I'll stop there for my first video. Uh, like, subscribe and share it. Um, and watch out for my next video. I'll show you some more cool stuff about the Team Extreme server. Thanks for watching.